Alabama at Auburn, the Iron Bowl this Saturday. It is 3.30 Eastern time. It's on CBS. This is an absurdly high number. Alabama's favored by 19 and a half as of this hour. Uh, I have so radically flipped on this game today, so much so that I had to have Jesse make a new graphic. So I'm going to tell you what the model thinks in a second. But the model has a lean. I got a lean, and we are disagreeing. And unlike most of the time, I think I'm going to be right this time when I disagree with the model. So something that's been flying under the radar because Alabama has struggled defensively is they haven't struggled across the board defensively. Uh, they've been a really good run defense. It's the number two run defense in the SEC right now. And it's, it's something that I think disproportionately matters in this game because you've got T.J. Finley in there as your backup quarterback uh, for Auburn. And their only hope in this game, if you want to pull an upset, I'm not talking about covering. If you want to pull an upset, you've got to ride Tank Bigsby. And even the games where Bama struggled a little bit, they've been good. Arkansas had 110 on the ground last week. Now, they almost won because they made way too many explosive plays through the air, and they had a, a fake field goal touchdown, and they did the things through the air and on special teams that were necessary to win the game. But they didn't run it. They didn't really run it all that effectively at all. I don't think Auburn's going to Saturday either. Now, here's the difference. Arkansas had a change-up and a curveball. They had other ways they could generate offense. How is Auburn about to generate offense against Alabama? See, this is what I kept coming back to today. I got to tell you, I woke up this morning. I had already bet money on Auburn. I hadn't put it out as the best bet. I had already bet Auburn plus 20 a couple days ago. And I reversed it today. This is how radically my opinion changed. So let's dive into this further. Because you got the run defense aspect. But I think there's something else that's been glaringly obvious. Because, see, here's the path for Auburn. Here's where I was before I zoomed in on a little bit. Alabama, we've seen them vulnerable several times this year. And it's been external stuff, which normally doesn't phase Alabama. I've been of the opinion they've played their best football on the road in their better years under Nick Saban. Not this year. They played at Florida, almost lost. Tough road environment. They played at Texas A&M, got beat. Tough road environment. Well, this is the next toughest road environment they will have played in, and maybe the toughest they play in all year. I've been down there several times when they go to Auburn. I've seen them take the much better team in there and get beat or struggle. They ran Derrick Henry, I think, 46 times one day against Auburn and didn't break him until late in the fourth quarter. That's the way that that game normally is when it's down there. The external stuff has to impact Bama. And Auburn has to run the ball a lot better than numbers say they should be able to for them to have a shot here. I think it's a horrible matchup for Auburn. I'm telling you, I think it's a really bad matchup for them. And if those externals don't matter, and if Bama has a level of the same offensive productivity they did last week, uh, the stat sheet screams four touchdown win for Bama last week. But it wasn't. It was a one touchdown win. Well, a lot of times what that means is you may have a line you can take advantage of the following week. But because a lot of those externals, they're not going to carry over, but the production will carry over. So we come into this Iron Bowl, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking to myself, horrible matchup for Auburn. If the externals are just neutralized, or even if they just have a slight effect on Alabama, my field changes wholesale on this game, and it did today. So a couple of things. I'm going to give you the model's take first, and then I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I think will happen as a result of this outcome because I'm very clear on how I feel about this now. So the Vegas number right now, as you see on the bottom of your screen, it's Bama minus 19 and a half. Jesse, let's show them what the model thinks, and then I'm going to tell you why I disagree. So the model has Alabama minus 15. That's early in the week why I moved on Auburn. I got them at plus 20. They're plus 19 and a half right now. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right at all. And the model, for the record, uh, nailed Bama last week. In fact, it's, it's had a good grip on Bama for a little while. This is a bad matchup. It's a really bad matchup. I don't know how Auburn is scoring points. And I think I do know how Bama is scoring points. And so I'm going to take Bama to win. And in an extreme rarity for playing the Iron Bowl down there, I think they're going to cover. Like, I think they're going to run it up on Auburn Saturday. And here's what's going to happen. One thing on each side of this coin. First thing is there's going to be some heat on Brian Harson because there's been a lot of talk about him and the Washington job. And I told you the other day, there is some validity to the juice. I didn't tell you anything was anywhere close to final. I'm not telling you that now. I'm telling you the rumors have persisted, and it's going to rub that fan base the wrong way. If they limp to the finish line, they don't care if it's a backup quarterback or not. If they limp to the finish line 
And they also got to deal with these rumors out there that haven't been totally squashed yet. Those Auburn folks are going to be aggravated. Second thing that's going to happen, if Bama does run it up on Auburn, that's the last thing you'll see before they play Georgia. So you will have seen a really good offensive performance against Arkansas. Then you will have seen a total team performance against Auburn. And then they're going to play Georgia. And right now, I think the public feel is Georgia, significant edge against Alabama. If we get the outcome I think we're going to get here, I think that game will be viewed in the public eye as being a lot more evenly matched than it is right now. So just keep those things in mind. I'm going to take Bama to win. I'm going to take Bama to cover.